Hi, I'm Jill Perkins, Chief Exec of the Bumblebee Conservation Trust and excited to tell you about a brand new project we have evolving up in Scotland. It's called the Great Yellow Bumblebee on the Verge and it's a little bit a play on words because it's all about the road verges but it's also about this iconic bee who is on the verge of extinction. The great yellow bumblebee is one of those really rare but distinctive bees. So often we have described it as a big yellow fluffy ping pong ball of a bee because it is quite large. But it's very distinctive in that it's mostly yellow, it has one black band beneath its wing bases and a few black hairs. And it emerges quite late in the season, usually June or July time. But it is a fantastic bee and quite easy to identify once you've got your eye in. Quite often I'm asked uh, why the decline in bumblebees has any relevance or importance to, to them. But I think sometimes people don't understand the connection between the food we eat uh, and the role that bumblebees play. 75% of all the crops that we grow for food require some pollination of some, some sort. Um, the way our gardens look, the way our flowers grow, all of that sexual reproduction of flowers, the way our countryside looks is so important. Pollination is responsible for that. And yes, we've lost two bumblebees to extinction. We've got two on the edge, one of which is the great yellow bumblebee. Um, and the pollination service to this country has been calculated at over 500 million pounds. And that supports our food and drink industry, which is one 108 billion pounds. And not many people really understand how the significant it is for our soft fruit industry. We import over 90,000 boxes of commercially farmed bumblebees every year to support our tomato industry and our, our soft fruit industry. So they're absolutely vital creatures underpinning our whole food security. This wonderful new project, um, one of the things that bumblebee, well, three of the things that bumblebees need is something to eat, somewhere to nest, and somewhere to hibernate. Now, one of the key things about road verges is that they can produce a corridor and connect different populations. So one of the things uh, that has uh, been difficult for the great yellow bumblebee is the isolated populations. And that, if they have isolated populations, you don't have the right genetic mix to keep those populations vibrant and healthy. Now with the Road Verge project, we'll be able to connect up those different populations and allow that genetic mix to happen. It's a super project, it's been supported by Highland Titles in this first development year and Highland Titles are also giving us access to one of their member of staff, their ecologist, who will be able to start surveying and learning about the Great Yellow and helping us build this work with the Highland Council. So what we hope at the end of this project is that we will be able to provide a really good management plan for the Highland Council and for the Highways Department so that they can manage the road verges specifically for the Great Yellow without mowing it at crucial times when the flowers are out and when the Great Yellow needs it. <laughs>